Boom, what up, so I can only hear back doing some more League of Legends action, playing some Blade of the Rune King set. Whoa. Beautiful. Nice. Really good trade for us. Really good trade. If I already got one more Q, that would have been perfect, but I'll take it. Nice. Who's the jungler? Elise. Oof. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I screwed that up. That Oh, I auto the minion before I press my E. That's my second hit already. Oops. I'm gonna pop potion here just so I stay high HP. Really good trade right there. And some more. I'm trying to ping my jungler to come top. Could easily kill this guy. Oh, don't take a tower shot. I'm moving. Alright, I'm just gonna walk back. I'm not gonna be able to assist that. They'll either get it or they won't without me. I should just try and go for some pressure on this guy. He walks up. I'm gonna try and grab him. That was pretty good, but I just didn't get a second auto off. He's legit one shot, man. Yeah. That does no flash, though. One Q! Oh! He got him. I honestly thought he was dead to that tower shot, so I just looked away. <laughs> Alright, somehow I got him there. I'll take it. I will take it. Ooh, that's kind of surprising. Uh, he'd probably win that. Let's just bail here. Work toward our item. Like I said, go and Blade of the Rune King first. Blade of the Rune King plus your Q. Crazy amount of on-hit damage. A lot of DPS as well. Then the healing is really good. And then you can just stand there auto-attacking with your passive. Because your passive is every other auto-attack does empowered damage. You get that big hit, right? Does what? 35 additional damage right now, but it scales. God damn. That attack speed slow is insane. I got tenacity, but we're gonna have to get more. Definitely gonna go Merc Treads this game. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is we have an auto attack reset with Q. Uh, I would not be surprised if they try and gank me or something here. It's MIA too. I'm just gonna start walking away. Uh, never mind, okay. Not really sure. Oh, I keep autoing the minion first, so it's my second auto that's going off. So I just need to Q there. Nice. Sweet. The other nice thing about your uh, passive is you get increased range on that second hit. And it happens faster. Not bad. Nice little trade right there. Just want to keep the wave shoved into him. He's actually doing a pretty good job. Uh, last hitting. So maybe I change up my strat. And let the wave shove out. So I just last hit here. This is an even wave on his side of the map. That looks bad. Graves mid. That wither is going to get me killed, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. He, wait, time out. Does he get a kill for that? Did he kill me? He literally didn't deal any damage, just put Wither on me. That's so disappointing. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Mm. 
This wave's gonna slow push back out to me. This might be a decent opportunity to make a play. Ooh, might pat top to fight me. No ward here. Yeah, kill him. Oh, I'm Trundle here. I'm Trundle here, this is okay. I think I should just leave. I don't think I can save him. Hit him with the slow, please. Beautiful. Man, that wither is... Ugh, it's so annoying, dude. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Dude, I can't help you. I'm going to get, like, a million farm over here. Alright, cool. Get this. Nice. Oof. Graves. You crazy. Oof. Not good. Oh, whoops. I need to shove next wave, then I can reset here. Dream would be having enough gold to buy my item, but obviously that's not going to happen. Not bad. I'll take that trade all day. Look for E. Got it. Beautiful trade. His jungle might come top here. Kind of expecting it to be honest. Alright. I mean, it's a toss up. I could stay for like a little bit more farm and try and just get my item. I feel like that might be the way to go. Just get vision down. It's like half HP, man. You know? I think it's just fine. Ooh. The empowered hit on him. Yeah, the jungle's gonna pat the top side. Hot bone plating. Just gonna sit back here though. So you know the jungle's gonna come top. I really wanna clear this wave quickly. Yeah, they're placing wards right now for the jungle to come. But we don't really care about any of that. We're just trying to get the wave shoved in and leave. Ooh, I'm gonna start pathing toward them. Just in case, but probably backing in this bush. Nice, they got it. I'm just gonna grab this and go back top lane. I don't care about any of this. If he kills that minion, the wave shoves to me. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's grab this. Got it. Let's go. Uh, Q gives empowered hits on the first two autos. So basically, like the same concept with this. Your next two auto attacks are gonna do more damage. Percent HP. It's 3.4% right now. Add in this, which is doing 12% of the target's current health. Autos are doing like 16% of the target's current health or something ridiculous. Pretty damn good, and it still scales with AD. Obviously, we're going to attack speed here, so we can auto faster. You also get movement speed, 30%, running toward the target. you got to be running toward an enemy. But for 1.5 seconds, you get 30% movement speed. It really helps catching them with your E. Your E stuns if you catch people on both sides of it. So I want to use my Q, like run in between the wave, then hit them like that, pull them in, and I'd stun both, right? If I hit it with E and there's nothing behind me, it won't stun. Pretty sure it's just sitting in that bush, though. This Graves, man. What are you doing, dog? Just walk away. Stop trying to force fights. You're 0-3, dude. Fuck. What are you doing? Alright, we're just gonna hold this wave on our side of the map for a little bit. I got a TP if I need it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's dead. Oh? He survived with, like, 1 HP? He just like walked back into ult and now he's gonna die for it. <laughs> oh god. That was not a good play, my man. Problem is their jungler is up here.
Force out flash from him and ult. I just kind of want to hold everything. I'm pretty sure I can just kill him by standing there. That's basically what was happening. I just stood there and right clicked him. <laughs> I didn't press any abilities and I was just winning. So I was like, all right, let me just keep this going for as long as possible and then ult later on. That was my idea there. It went decent. I could have maybe waited a little bit longer. I mean, he flashed, so it's, you know, whatever. And that was like a really deep flash too. Kind of surprised he actually got it. Oh, really? I didn't kill those? Oof. It's annoying. That is annoying. Jump tower. Take tower really fast. Obviously our passive is really good against tower. We have Q. Oh, he's just going straight armor. I mean, I'm going black cleaver next, man. Hmm. Alright, let's go back. I'm gonna get Merc Jets here, probably. Just for his wither and for all the CC from the rest of his team. Oh, I have teleport behind them. Looks like we're just leaving. I'm gonna TP back top then. This is gonna be so good against their whole team. Oh, uh, trolling. Oh, I am trolling. <laughs> That's cute. When he walks up, I'm gonna press Q. We'll take that all day. <laughs> These fights are so free if I can get jungle help. Wanna walk here clear vision if he's got it. Perfect. Fights are gonna die. Really good for me. He's got ult, but it's fine. Oh, that's bad. That sucks. Is he a flash? If I, had fl if I uh, thought about it, I could have flashed to get Elise, but I was going to kill her without it. That's why I let it go, but she ended up flashing away. And then by the time she flashed, I couldn't flash anymore. I mean, maybe I could have, I just didn't react fast enough. Lame. We have a ton of healing here, though. Yeah, it really sucked. I wanted to go for this guy, but Elise came in. I didn't realize fast enough. It would have been better just to go for Elise there. I'm going to walk down here and grab this plant. Put a ward. Oh, never mind. Go back to top after. But he's rushing straight armor. I don't think he understands. I'm just going to get a black cleaver next. Like, okay. I mean, it'll be decent. I don't know. Then I just heal up as best as I can. Go for the all in next time I can. Choked it, and I just bail. That's fine. Might be able to find an all-in on him. I get in this bush. Be a little cheesy. He doesn't have vision on me. These minions would have ran at me immediately if he did. Alright, not the best. I have ult. I don't know, we want this all day. Oh man. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Considering what that was, I'll take it. Two for two if this guy can get out. I don't think he'll be able to, though. Oh? No, no, no. Oh, he might actually. <sighs> yeah, I'll take that, dude. They have five people up there. It was a five versus three, and we went two for two. We're getting this on the backside. I'm cool with that. It's a fine play in my book. I spent a ton of gold there too. 5.7% of targets maximum health right now. And this is doing 12% of targets current health. Then we're attacking insanely fast. 
Then obviously this is doing 86 extra damage on the second hit. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, try that again with the pink ward though. There we go. Back up to top lane, try and get this tower ace up. Let's go. Not too bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, five top, but we, but we still got stuff on the other side of the map, so it's fine. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that many people. If it wasn't, uh, if Katarina didn't come and start fighting me, I would have gotten a better flash, eat both of them, and then like ulted. It would have been a little cleaner, but whatever, it's fine. I'll take it. Let me just heal up here. These are really good trades for us. We're just trying to stick on top of him as he has his uh, wither going. That's like the key. Because then we're getting damage on him while his wither's up. Oh, he's not going to be able to defend this tower. Can I catch you? I don't think I catch him with E here. Ooh, so close. Uh, I might be able to kill him. He just heals so much here. Ah, oh, fuck. Out of bail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I hit that, I could have all end off of it, but eh, let's leave. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. That's really the only time you want to do auto Q. Because if you auto Q, that means you're clipping your second empowered hit, right? Your second part of your passive. But if you're trying to get a triple hit like that, one, two, three to kill a ward, it's pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna walk up here. Take this out. Whoops. I think they have people here. I'm just gonna play a little cautiously. Really want enough gold for this. I don't know if I'm actually going to get out here. Oh, I should have stayed behind the minions. Yeah, I'm not going to make it out. Oh, never mind. Thanks, Ezreal. I love you. Ezreal, you're god. <laughs> I was definitely dead there. I didn't. I wasn't able to dodge the uh, Q from Nautilus. I probably should have been able to, but it's alright. I can reset now and grab this. I'm huge. Want to stay for this? I have so much gold. Uh, next item we can go with Steric's Gauge. Could you go PD if you want to get real spicy with it? Because PD will also give you like a similar shield to Steric's Gauge. But the reason Steric's would be better is because you get HP and the HP scales into your passive from W. So that's that second bar that I get. It's as I take damage, I'm gaining uh, a potential shield and then it also amplifies the damage of your W as well. It's 50% of your health. So if you increase your health pool, that's why. Um, Overgrowth is so good, right? Free HPs. Yeah, that was a really good play by Ezreal. Save my butt. Be careful there. We're trying to get too aggressive on this uh, top laner. Especially before Black Cleaver, just kind of foolish. He has so much armor, but I'm still trying to make it work. That's why it's so difficult. If this guy didn't have this much armor, it'd be destroying him. Like I do percent HP damage, but it's dealt as physical damage. So what that means is if he has armor, he's still reducing the amount of damage my blade's doing. He's still reducing the amount of percent HP damage my Q is doing. Like right now, I'm doing 7.1 on a Q and 12% here. It's like almost 20% of the target's current health in back-to-back -back autos. Like that's absurd. It's current, not max HP. So as I do, say they were at 100%. The first auto is going to do 20% of the health, right? But then that next one is going to do 20% of the 80% remaining. That makes sense. Really? We didn't win that super hard? Wow. I'm actually shocked. I'll be honest, I have no idea how we didn't win that super hard. 
I ulted Nautilus into four people. I don't think I should have W'd that early though, because I think that's part, probably part of the problem. I mean, we won the fight super hard, but I thought we were going to kill all of them. That's what I meant. Uh, I don't know if they can... Oh, now they can end. <laughs> I'll have teleport in five. I was going to say, I don't know if they can end, but this guy just went in and killed everybody. Ooh, what the... Damn, son. Yeah, I'm here. Uh... Oh, that sucks. I just tank this shit up, dude. No big deal. Walk out. Come back in. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit awkward, but hey, I'll take it. Not bad, not bad. I thought that fight was going to go so much better, because your ultimate does uh, damage based on how much HP the target that you're ulting has, right? It's Their bonus HP gives you more damage on that. So if I'm taking a tank and throwing him on top of three other people, and then I do an E after that, and then a W, it's just my W had no damage because no one was focusing me yet. So I put my W on cooldown, and then they all focused me, and I didn't have W anymore. So I couldn't get a shield, and I was kind of squishy and couldn't finish the Nautilus while I was just getting CC'd. Or not Nautilus, sorry, Nasus. Oh, I should have given it to Ezra. What am I doing? That guy beasted. That guy beasted. Yo, GG, boys. Oh, my God. Okay, hold up. I beasted. I knew I did a bunch of damage right there. That had to be mostly from that one team fight right there. But could have done a lot more. Again, I had to hold my W. I was too eager to pop it. Because people were low, so I was like, oh, I'll just pop W and kill him. But it doesn't do any damage if you don't have grit built up. So I had to take damage first. So I could have waited literally like one second because they all focused me right after. I could have waited like one second and then done it. And I would have had a full health, well, 50% health shield because it's only half your health that you get off of it. But a ton of damage on the W as well. But anyways, I'll take it. PTA is an option, but most of the time I see everybody just doing conk when they do this build. So BC, Blade the Rune King, and then uh, Asterix Gage. And then after that, you can do like Dead Man's for more movement speed with your Q to catch people. Because once you catch people, you just press E and then you can kill most of them. Uh, yeah, pretty good game overall. If they kept building ridiculous amounts of armor, I could have gotten like a Last Whisper if I really wanted to, but I think we'd be fine there. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. No honor on the Ezreal. Come on, man. I know. I should have honored him. He, he did really well. Shout out to, what's his name? Hold up. Shout out to this dude. Chris loves Uzi. There you go. <laughs> All right. Anyways, GG Well Played, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace!